Seventh grade TCAP practice test, uh, mass section question number 36. A small rectangular prism is 4 inches long. A large rectangular prism is 24 inches long. The two prisms are similar. Which statement is true? Now, there's a bunch of stuff going on here, and I brought the little um, prism itself out so that I could show you what the heck they're talking about. Now, when they're talking about how long it is, they're talking about this dimension. Now, when I say dimension, that's exactly what I mean. If you'd seen some of the other videos, you know that uh, one length is one dimension. Now, if we start talking about two dimensions, we're talking about area. Two dimensions. And in this case, there is no thickness to it. It's just length versus height, or whatever you want to call it. Base times height, that kind of thing. That's two dimensions. Now, for our 3D, that's when we finally get into volume. Now, in this case, let me slip it back in its little sheath here and put the top back on. That would help as well. Uh, now we have three dimensions. Well, the top keeps popping off, so it doesn't really help that much. Uh, now we have three dimensions. I've got length, I've got height, and then I've got depth to it as well. So I go across. So maybe base times height times depth, because I can move up and down. So now I'm in three dimensions. Now each time I add another dimension, I'm doing something to the side itself. So it, think of one dimension as x, two dimensions as x squared, because it'd be base times height, right? And if it was a square, so say this edge, it would be this times this, so that's two dimensions. And 3D would be x to the third power. So that would be like the cube that we'd done in a previous problem. So each time you see something talking about volume, you're going to have to think about, oh, this is 3D. If you see something talk about surface area or area, you're talking about two dimensions, so 2D. Now that adjusts what we're going to deal with here. The other thing we have to talk about is the term similar. Similar means the proportional relationship of the sides are the same. So uh, for in my original small rectangular prism, I have a four inch long side. In the larger one, like it says up here, it's 24. So the relationship or the proportion between those two is six. Six inches in the large one is the same as one inch in the smaller one. The only thing we have to worry about here in the question is it wants to know how the volumes are related because all the questions answers choices say the volume of it. Now so we can't use just the six, we have to use the six in three dimensions. So I do six to the third power. So 216 is what I'm going to be looking for. So F says the volume of the large rectangular prism is six times. The volume isn't six times. The length is six times. So that's not it. In G, the volume is 20 times. I don't even really, I guess they just subtracted 24 minus 4. They took 24, they subtracted 4. That's got nothing to do with anything. You don't subtract here. Uh, 36 times. If it was two dimensions, yeah, I'd be with you. The volume is 36 times? No. If I was doing 6 times 6 or area, then yeah, 36 is perfect. But it's not the case here. This is 3D, baby. 6 to the third power, 216 times the amount. So the answer to number 36 is J because you're in 3D. You're paying more for the glasses anyway, so do a little bit more uh, math and raise it to the third power as opposed to the second.